All right, Anna, I'm gonna try to work on your thing here a little bit. This, which has looks like it has a pretty good amount of light on it, we'll have to maybe lighten up the tree a little bit so that it looks like maybe push the shadows, push the values up a little bit. These seem a little bright down here. So I'm just gonna try some things and we'll see, see what happens. I want the rough edge up, so I'm gonna actually work upside down on this, on this brush anyway. See how the, the uh, brush is a little bit rougher on this side. So the idea is I wanna to try to create, just build upon what you've got here and then create some kind of movement into the focal point of the eyes here. Now, let's take some of this light. If the light's coming this way, we want to make sure that it looks like it's hitting the tree. So now it's the way that this is kind of going now is it looks like we might think about pushing him, uh, the character in all the foreground. So the tree, the character, the grass, we could push all that to be a little bit darker and then really try to push the background to go a little bit lighter. All right, so now what that allows us to do is go back in and push these highlights. So if our light's coming from here, we can really push all these colors, right? So there's that color. And I'm wondering if we should probably this value is about right here, which is good. That means we can really pop the highlights. So it's quite a much more dramatic kind of light. So let's try this. Now that really starts to feel like it's in the foreground because it's the darkest thing in the painting, so it's pushing, pushing forward. And you can get in there and detail out the grass a little bit more if you want to. But now I feel like there's a light plane set up. There's this, which is in the foreground. There's this guy, which is in the middle ground, the ground, the distance, which is a lighter value. So dark, medium, light. And again, remembering when it does come time to detail stuff out, it's not a problem. And you still have quite a bit of room to work, like to really pop out like extreme highlights. Yeah, so to me as a painting, it's starting to hold up a little bit more now. It's starting to look pretty good from kind of a roughed in perspective. Um, when you, the, I think the key to this is you can still kill this, like the, the energy of this painting by getting in there and detailing stuff out. 